revolution, it was bad for everybody. It was a lose-lose all round, nationally, not just in Rochelle. If the revolution had happened in any other European country other than Portugal, it would have probably led to much more conflict and, and ultimately civil war. So we lost everything in those sort of final years, early 80s. Started replanting everything in 88. That was the beginning of the sort of the new era of Monchamp. We were fortunate to have Monchamp because we had a product that could keep us going, and that was the wine. Alicante Boucher is theoretically the blackest wine in the world. It's got an incredible skin pigmentation, but then also the pulp is, is red as well. Viticulture wasn't, in those days, it wasn't Bordeaux and it wasn't Burgundy. All viticulture, everything, the happening thing in the world, really, or certainly in Europe, was the Midi de la France. If Portugal hadn't been isolated the way it was during the 1950s and 60s, then it's likely that Portugal would have jumped on the bandwagon of international grape varieties, winemaking technology, and that a lot of what we now cherish as being part of the Portuguese wine scene, like its indigenous grape varieties, its field blends, its traditional ways of working with Lagars, a lot of that might have been lost.